at the health. Look at the health go down. This thing is incredible. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in this morph world and I think there's actually a new update which you can see behind us which has got to do with some crazy looking cat app. But as you can see right now, we've got Sage and Quackers with us today. As well as the one and only Mini Dizzy, who's followed us in the game and joining us for this exciting adventure. And obviously everyone else that has managed to join because we're going to need all the help we can get with this new arena. And yes, by the end of the video, I'm 100% going to have this crazy looking metal cat now because it looks so awesome. And to be honest, without it, we probably might struggle with the boss. But we will get there and figure out what happens. Let's head into the Critter World and very quickly collect what we're missing here. So I've got two parcels to collect. Thank you very much. What have we got here? Quackers, Sage, what are we looking at? This all looks very familiar to me. But why? Why does it look familiar? That's the real question right now. Looks like Playcares is Sage and Quackers is saying... Stop staring, Grandpa. Are you telling me that there is Grandpa, Kissy Missy, and Grandpa, well, Huggy Wuggy? That's actually pretty possum. Oh, I'm glad to see they're living happily ever after in this place to retire. So what I can see is we got a bunch of keys everywhere, literally everywhere to collect. And we got the circus. We've got ourselves what looks to be some kind of more important places. You got the orphanage. You got some stuff on the board, which is just advertising what's happening here. And Sage has got a battery. Where did you even get a battery from? Hang on a sec. Wait, wait, wait. We got Space Huggy and Space Gizzy Missy just having a burger. <gasps> oh, that actually makes me pretty hungry, guys. I'm going to get super hungry. But following you, Sage, don't worry. There is, in fact, a massive battery. So now I've picked up the battery. What do I do with the battery? Whoa. Okay. So maybe we should actually work together to find these batteries and see where we need to drop them off. I think that is the... Oh, good spot, Quackers. Oh, I can only carry one at a time. I think we need to figure out where we need to drop them off. And then at that point, we can go around and... Wait, Dizzy, the door. What the... Wait, are you telling me the boss room just requires some batteries? Oh, Sage Quackers, you two are really on the ball. Just make sure you don't fall off because you don't want to hurt yourself. But that's clearly what we need to do with these batteries. So I'm just going to head over here and pick up this one that we, uh, well, I say we Quackers or Sage. One of the two I forgot already managed to find it for us. So let's head over and pop battery number two in here, which means now we've got the blue section of this boss room door powered up. We just got the green, red and yellow left to go. So, this guy here wants a bone, and I think I found one here. Here we go. Here's, wait, 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 Quackers. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just give the bone to this cute, adorable guy here and see what he does. Ah, oh, he's giving us all of these goodies, including a spring. Oh, these are quite essential. These are amazing, and we need these. Okay. So, the first things first, Quackers. Don't worry. I will follow you in a second. I need to just drop this spring off. So we can... Oh, I found a broken spring. I'm just going to pop it over here. Which means we've now got one more fix. Okay, this is good. We're repairing the places. I've kind of lost Quackers and Sage at this point. But I'm sure Quackers went down here. Wait, Sage is here. Sage is saying yummy. And he seems to be eating a battery. I'd better take this battery away from Sage before he tries to eat it. Oh, dear Sage. Sage, you're going to be dangerous. We're going to have to find the rest of the batteries in case Quackers starts trying to eat them as well. Although I see Quackers has just jumped ahead of me. Although I will point out, guys... Have you seen both Sage and Quackers' new drip? I mean, they've got a whole summer vibe going on right now. It's looking pretty awesome. But we just picked up another battery here. Gonna go collect this and put it away. I have a strange feeling we're actually able to head into these buildings all individually and all separately. So maybe once we find the batteries around this area of the map so you guys can unlock the boss room pretty quickly as well, we'll actually end up trying to find what you get inside these houses. And uh, Quackers is asking me to chase him again. At this point in time, guys, if you've already done this and you know what the boss is, or if you already found a cool secret in the game and the map that we haven't found yet, put it in the comments below so I can see where we need to, well, effectively go to find those secrets. But Quackers, you need to slow down. I can only carry one battery at a time. So I need to plop this in, which means... We've now got five of eight. I think that's yes, actually pretty yes, good going. Yes. Quackers has got five. Sage is somewhere. Wait, here he is. Sage is here. Sage, how many batteries have you got? He's also got five of eight. Okay. 
So we're over halfway, which means some of the batteries might actually be inside of these buildings. So I think what we should do is all work together and head into this formal, very admin looking building, which actually is called admin. So that's quite convenient. And then we just need to probably do some challenges to get a battery. So scary, gizzy, missy. Yes, I you are quite doing. terrifying. Would you mind uh, giving me a battery? Although Sage said it's female wuggles, which is actually probably correct. Female wuggles. Can I have the battery, please? Although the more I stand here and stare at her, the scarier and creepier this gets. But uh, actually, it's a good point. I've not opened any chests in this area yet. I feel like I'm potentially missing... Oh, first piece of the cubes. That's so cool. I was actually wondering how to get these. Oh, look at this, guys. We've got an actual fox looking Dizzy at this point. Oh, that's so adorable. I'm sorry, Crackers. I am following you. I just got distracted by Mini Dizzy. The small fox Dizzy as well. Although he's telling me to go outside. Wait, 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 Sage, we might need to go outside. I think Quackers is onto something at this point. So let's just do this head over here to which Quackers is doing some pretty intense parkour around the map. I can't quite catch up with him. He's too fast. But that's okay. I can see where he is now. He's hop and skipping and jumping around. So maybe we can find another battery. Oh, oh my God. Quackers is definitely Detective Quackers again today. He's on the ball again because clearly he never fell off in the first place. But it does mean that we only need two more batteries. So as you can see, we've now got blue, green, and red all powered up together. If we split all of us up to try and find this extra two batteries, and we can find the boss and then... I want to explore the buildings a bit. I'm going to assume there's little mini games and some other pull some stuff that you can get when you're inside. So I'm really looking forward to A, destroying the boss, because I don't actually know who it is yet. And B, becoming that metal catnap, because that looks pretty awesome in my opinion. And also, obviously, checking out all of these rooms. I mean, at this point in time, I think I'm doing quite well at the moment with uh, heading around these like areas. There's a bit of parkour, a nice big slide, which I can't climb. Why I can't? Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Nope, nope. Yeah, maybe. Nope. I don't know. Sage just trampled over my head. What is this? Hey, here we go. I think I've got all those keys. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I've not been over to this building here. I'm really hoping that these springs that we repair are not needed for the batteries because we have only got two to find. So I managed to find the last two. And for one of them, you're going to need this spring. And to get that, you just need to get a critter bone and give it to the woofer that we found at the beginning of the video. So what you want to do is to head over this way, which is just behind this building here and next to the orphanage. And you will see that it has a symbol for the battery to head up. And to do that, use the spring. And just like this, you will get up to the battery. And what's pretty awesome as well, being over this way of the map, is if we run around the corner, you will see the last one we need is just chilling out on the floor over here. Basically near where you can see quackers hop, skipping, and jumping. And this will unlock the boss area, which I'm super excited to see what's in there. So there's number seven. Let's go and get number eight, which will then give us the boss room, which we may need to get the metal catnap for just to make our lives a little bit easier because why wouldn't you want to make your life easier? If there's a cool looking morph that does laser beams and other cool stuff, why wouldn't you want to use it? I just don't know. So there this, we've now got eight of eight. We've unlocked our boss lair. Things are about to get awesome. So as you know, the boss room is now open, which means we can head into these different buildings and see what's inside before we fight that boss and obviously show him who is, well, the strongest. Because when we become Metal Catnap, it's going to be super cool. So with all of us currently in what looks to be admin, which I believe is a library, is it Miss Wuggles? Although she hasn't got a quest or anything to us to do. So the real question is, what actually do we do here? I can see we've got a stage with an Among Us version of the Smiling Critters. Actually, that's pretty cool. I think that's one of the coolest things I've seen so far. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. That's an adorable version of Catnap. Oh, I really want that. That is so adorable. How do I get you? How do I get you adorable looking Catnap? I have to find out soon. Oh, the quackers is saying, sit down, sit down. He has a joke. Well, okay, let's get on the seat. I'll, um, I wanted that yellow one, but never mind. We'll sit here. What is the joke, quackers? What have you got for us? What do you call a white cat with sneakers and a yellow hoodie, which is fat and stinky? Why do I feel like I've heard this joke before? I don't know, quackers. What do you call exactly that you've described? You! What? I 
dad, he's laughing. Well, that's just rude, if I say so myself. And just as well that this little Dizzy's not getting angry. Because I am, and he's saying it's so funny. Although Sage is up there, I think he's about to give him a good looking at. Oh, I think he's just poked him in the ear. Oh, perfect. We can always trust on Sage and Quackers to sort each other out, can't we, guys? Yeah, we can. So what else is in this building? We've got another chest just over here. It'd be rude not to open at this point. We've uh, managed to collect quite a few coins. Oh, cyan block. This is the map. This is the area you get those super adorable looking morphs. And look at this. There is a code, like Quackers to say, is 8974. Right, where do we have to put this code in? Now we're getting somewhere. This is pretty cool. Oh, wait, Sage is saying, what do you call a pirate droid? R2-D2. I see what he did there. It's a pirate and Star Wars pun. I like it. That's actually pretty good. Quackers is jumping around and he's found indeed the place to put yes, it. Well yes, done, Quackers. Yes, so yes. what was the code? I forgot already. Yeah, it's 8974. Hey, press that button and look at this. We've got a whole new area. Oh, look at this. These are so adorable. Quackers is going, uh, wait, hey, what happened with this one? Wait, what is that up there? That's creepy. I think this one might have escaped. So the most sensible thing to do is to clearly jump up and head into the area, which is the vent. Okay, guys, we need to be careful. There seems to be a lot of blood smears on the side, a lot of tomato ketchup. And then we've got another code. No, no, no. Oh, no, is this the code to get out of here? Yes. Is it the same one as last? No. Wait, what the? Six, seven, four, five, I'm being told. Oh my goodness, that actually worked. He actually got the code right. Six, seven, what, 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 what? Six, seven, four, five. Wow. Okay, someone's really on the ball to get us through, which is actually pretty cool. Now, what have we got here? Oh, wow. Okay, this guy knows what we're doing. He knows what's happening here. I'm going to follow Chainsaw Man because clearly... Uh-oh. I'm going to try and follow Chainsaw Man, but clearly I'm going to fall off each time. Now, I do want to get these chests... Because I think they end up with these super adorable morphs. Clearly, this one gives me coins, so maybe not that one. But let's head on through. And oh my goodness. Quackers, what is this? There is a ginormous present here. Tons of coins. This is like my birthday's come early. Look at all these coins. Look at the present. Actually, I haven't even opened the present yet. What have we got? No way. We've got the creepy looking crafty corn. I don't know why I'm so angry. I should be quite happy at this point. So that's at least one of the buildings. And head to the exit because clearly we don't want to be here anymore. We've got the prize. So we completed the admin building. What have we got next to it? Has each building got like a little mini game because if they have that's actually pretty cool so i'm just heading to the toy shop i can see everyone's joining in and we've got builder toys and it says zero of six ah so this is goldilocks i know this one because we had a look at this on the morph menu before we started recording and there's gonna be six pieces darted around this map i think that's the case in this place we have to find six of the pieces for well, Goldilocks. And I can see the head is just over here. So that means we've only got five more to find. So to make this really quick and nice for you guys, I'm going to very quickly show you where each of the six pieces are. And then we'll head into the next building because we need to actually fight the boss. And to be honest, at this point, I think we should really take him out sooner rather than later. So guys, here we go. Let's start with the little montage of where these pieces are. So the right arm is just behind this green building here. You will see it on the bench just like this. So for the left hand, if you head up the stairs, you will see behind this orange building is just tucked away here on the side. So if I grab this and return this back, that means we are now halfway through for completing Goldilocks. As you can see, we've got the head and the arm so far. Now we've got the other arm. We're missing the body and two legs. In theory, they should be quite easy to find. So for one of the legs, you see this blue building here. You just go up the stairs next to it, head up this flight of stairs, and then finally head up this one where you get to on top of the blue building. You will see that the leg is right here next to Sage, who again looks like he's trying to eat all this stuff. I don't understand, Sage. What well, makes you so hungry today compared to normal? I don't understand. So guys, if you recognize this green building here, head up the stairs. And what you want to do is get past these uh, very evil looking versions of the Smiling Critters to where Sage is. And you will find the last leg, which means all we need left for this whole puzzle is literally the body. So for the final piece, look at this green building. Head up around the back of it to where you get to this slope. 
And as you work your way up, you will find this golden door with a hungry looking wuggy. But that's not what we care for. Nope. We want to head this way, and it will eventually take us to where we... Ow, ow. There we go. Now we're up. Head up around here. Jump, and we will make it to the final piece, which is Goldie's body. Look at this. Perfect. So this now means we have all of the pieces for Goldilocks' area. And check this out, guys. Watch what's about to happen. We've unlocked Goldie. And yes, our mails will be coming very quickly because look at this. Oh, what the? What? You press E, and it explodes. What kind of trickery is this? Oh, 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 that's actually pretty cool. Because we've now searched for this, you guys know where to find the pieces for these Goldilocks. What I want to do is to go and purchase that metal catnap. And with Sage and Quackers' help, we're going to take down the boss. I still don't know what the boss is, so I'm quite keen to see what it is. I have a feeling it might be an evil woggle, but we'll find out in a second. So let's just have a look at this. And just like that, boom. We are now the crazy looking metal catnap. So we've got ourselves some lasers, which is pretty cool. We've got the ability to do some saw action. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the faster you move, the more damage and faster it spins. That's actually pretty awesome. And then we've got something to do with our tail. Oh, it was a massive sweep. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. No, it doesn't fly and no, it doesn't go fast. But that's besides the point because we're going to head into the boss room to fight this evil boss. And who is the boss today? Well, let's have a look. We've got what looks to be one over here and another one that seems to be over here. So the boss is just catnap. I'm confused. I thought we've done this one. So, yep, that is confirmed. This is one boss which isn't out yet. And this one over here is another. So, let's head on down. Let's see what the boss is. And hang on a second. This looks familiar. Are you telling me we're fighting like the five stage version of Catnap? Evil Dream Catnap. Okay, okay. So, last time I did this with another morph and uh, it did really well. So can I just keep beaming him with this? It does 100 damage. Oh, oh, this. I want to try out this move. This move is something I'm super excited to try. And I've just realized that he's doing the gas thing. Oh, look at the health. Look at the health go down. This thing is incredible. Look at the damage we're doing. He's out. I am blown away. This thing is so OP right now. Oh, hang on a sec, guys. Hang on a sec. Let's get the old spinny arms up and around and see what it does to these guys. Although... We haven't tried the tail sweep. I really want to try the tail sweep. So let's just see this guy here. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Look at it go. He just sweeps them and they die. Oh, not quite in one hit. I was hoping it's going to be one hit, but not to worry. I've got the power of Quackers here and Sage and obviously everyone else that's here. And if we just keep scraping the floor, well, I think we're going to do this with no issues at all. And Nightmare Dream Cat is now here. Yes, it is. And let's just give it a, a scratch on its back. Although I've realized I need to move pretty quick. I might actually end up getting oofed at this point. Oh, no. But that's okay. That's okay. We just need to stay out of his way. Give him another tickle on his back. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I can't sprint when I'm in this. But all the time, I'm here scratching his back. Look at his health go down. He's literally just eradicating him like he's nothing. Oh, look at this. The MVP is uh, away. I'm not even here. That's just rude. I totally came here and destroyed everything with the help of everyone else. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you've done some videos, it's super appreciated, and we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boot the snoop. Bye!